Hey guys, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Before we get into the video, Tide Wee is having a huge Black Friday sale. If you need anything hunting related, as far as clothing, they have a bunch of heated, insulated stuff. They have boots, they have backpacks, they have tons of accessories and waders and some heated, insulated waders. If you use my code EH20, you can get 20% off.
wetlands. I keep catching them walking back and forth. It's real hard to get the camera on them though. I don't know what the hell they'd be eating down there, but I've seen, I think like three other deer down there. I can't imagine any of them are the four that went out that way towards the field. But my wind's going that way. I mean, of course she's gonna smell me. Well, it is 7.40 and I'm getting down. My dad wants to go uh, head north, so we're gonna go on an adventure with my old man. It's been slow here, I guess. My dad knows the guy who owns all the fields out at the end. I guess all the deer are out there, or there's a bunch of deer out there, which is weird. Normally, you know, by eight, nine o'clock, they're in here already, but for whatever reason, they're already, they're out, so. I am, uh, I'm gonna get down and go drive three hours and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Should be a fun day. So I haven't talked to you guys in three, four hours. Uh, it's now 12 o'clock. We are up in Bradford County now. Earlier this morning, we were down in Burks. My two cousins are up here at my childhood cabin. This is where I grew up coming to, to hunt. And we kind of dropped the ball. We should have been up here this morning with them. We thought there was going to be other people at the cabin, but there's not. But we're here now. Well, we're almost there, about 15 minutes away. We just stopped to get some groceries. I know this is all over the place, guys. I'm sorry. But my cousin shot a buck this morning. So I want to show you guys that when we get there. And my other cousin is going to go out tonight and I'm going to sit with him and try to film for him, which I'm down for. I can't shoot anything unless we see some coyotes. Um, I don't have a doe tag for up here or anything, but we're going to try to spend some time as a family, something we don't really ever get to do anymore, and hopefully get my cousin a deer as well. Try to get him both bucks. Once my dad's done doing a little bit of grocery shopping, we have this afternoon to hunt, and then we're also going to hunt tomorrow, being Sunday. You're allowed to hunt Sunday tomorrow in PA. So, just stay tuned with me. I'm sorry for essentially leaving at 8 o'clock in the morning. This, this seems more important. I haven't been, my dad hasn't been up here in 10 years, so there's going to be some tears, for sure. And, uh, yeah. I have I shot my first deer up here. This is a, a spot that holds in my it's gonna be in my heart forever. We just kinda grew out of coming up here, I guess. So we'll be there in about fifteen minutes.
Well, we are calling it a day here. Uh, we did see a buck. Of course, I forgot to hit record. And uh, a bunch of dough. Everyone has seen buck. My cousin did get a buck. We got to butcher it up. I guess I should show you guys the buck, huh? It's pretty nice. He shot that one this morning. Did you hear those dogs up there like they were attacking somebody? That's why I came, I came back. I apologize for this video being absolutely everywhere today. Literally drove across the state to come up here. So yeah, tomorrow we're gonna, I'm gonna sit with my cousin some more and uh, do some driving trying to get some deer uh, essentially out of the pines and uh, yeah. Should be a good day. I'm happy to be up here. So, all right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you haven't already, click subscribe, leave a like. I'll see you guys. Good morning, everybody. It is six o'clock Sunday, day two of rifle season. We're up here in Bradford County. Came up yesterday around lunchtime, and uh, we're gonna try to get my cousin his first buck today. So what we're doing is he's gonna sit on a power. He's sitting on the power line for the first two hours. We're just gonna hang out. Then at eight o'clock, my other cousin is gonna come down and drive these pines out, zigzagging through them, driving everything up through the power line, and then after that. We're gonna, James and I, are gonna go around and up to an area we call the apple orchard because there's apple trees in it. We're gonna go there and <clears throat> Stephen is gonna wind bump his way through the property nice and slow and hopefully push everything up to, uh, to us in the orchard. So that's the plan. Everyone saw a buck yesterday. Everyone saw deer yesterday. What the hell? Friggin' tree just fell over. So I'm out today just filming. Um, I don't have any taxer up here, so I can't hunt. But I want to try to help my cousin get one, so. That's the plan. Um, 40 minutes until light. So I'll see you guys then. Well, just heard the first shot of the morning. There's another one. Um, I have not seen or heard anything. I'm, I'm watching this big field. Seeing if anything's gonna come blistering across, if there, if anyone else is driving or shooting. Obviously, my cousin James hasn't seen anything, or at least no bugs. So I would be shocked if he, if we don't at least see a buck today. We seen a six pointer yesterday. My cousin also saw another different deer, a little bit bigger than that six pointer. So we got another hour ish of sitting here before my cousin starts driving this out. And at that point, these pines, this is like the safety area for these deer because it's so thick and dark. I would be shocked if he doesn't push something out of here. Well, my dad and my cousin are starting the drive. So I'm, I'm staying put here to try to stop any deer from getting into the field. I mean, even if it means scaring them back into the pines, I'll do that. But they're gonna work their way through the pines, pushing deer across this big power line over here. That's gonna be drive number one. And uh, if that's unsuccessful, we're going to push off the rest of the property. Now, my cousin James, who's in the power line, already saw. Oh, there they go. They got deer moving.
deer could been already over here and I spooked them, which is fine. Yeah, oh my god, there's a lot of deer in there. sight of a deer trap. Dude, that was crazy. I can't believe there was no buck in there. There was there was a buck in there this morning. Early this morning. Yeah. Because he shit, it was, it would have been frozen. It was yeah. still, wasn't warm, yeah. like I said, but you could tell it was fresh. Yeah, they, they were right there, and they see me move, which was perfect because they were coming this way. Then they went that way right in front of Jeeves and then they went, they just went into the woods over here. We're starting a second drive. And uh, since we're doing the bigger section, I'm gonna help drive this time. So we're literally gonna drive like 60 acres. <laughs> Deer. Two doe, one towards you, Steve. Two doe ran across the road. There's one in between me and you yet. Yeah. It went two with the mom and the fawn. There's definitely three, so maybe, hopefully, he went that way. Yeah, I, dude, I was like five yards away from them. Yeah, they were right along the road, bedded down. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, still kicking up deer, so that's good. So think about that. <clears throat> we were right off the road here, and I had to get within. I was within five yards of these deer, and I bet you my dad and my cousin, who walked down the road earlier to start the first drive, I'm willing to bet that they probably walked right by those deer. They were bedded in there, and I had to walk up right next to them to get them to move.
So far nothing. Come across a bunch of tracks. Buck tracks. You name it. But so far no shooting from James. This looks to be the way all the deer ran. Of course they were 14 doe. Yeah, this is the way they came. Right up through here. I'd be shocked if he doesn't really see something. And the more deer. We don't really know where these deer went, for sure. They could pick up a buck along the way, too. Wow, I just had the damn deer run by me, out into the field. Behind me, I was talking to the farmer. Oh, man. Not one buck. Damn. I'm gonna find everyone else and see what the plan is going forward. Well, that worked perfectly again. Yeah, I was within ten yards of a doe. I would have yeah. had a shot at one. If she just, fun. she kept right count. She just kept on coming. Yeah, I was down there talking to Neil, yeah. and uh, they all tried coming out right in front of us. And I go, I'm gonna get behind you in case one's a buck, just in case it, it made it out into the field. And they all stopped right at the edge of the field and just looked at us. Did they come back down then? They six of them went out barreling out mm -hmm. and then everyone else went down back to the pines and then i kicked them straight across the power line you know they get a bucket nope he said there's a 10 pointer around that's he's, he's seen the eight pointer that's the ghost buck that you sent me a picture of he said he's seen that one that might be the, the one tom pointer. shot i literally just got done work i got dressed at work believe it or not and I'm gonna try to uh, just get a quick hunt in after work see if we can you know see if we can't see one of these two doe that I'd really like to uh, get off this property so tonight uh, I am NOT using my trusty Remington model 700 BDL we're gonna be taking out the muzzle loader. So I'm gonna have one shot on me, can't mess up, and yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. I haven't shot anything with this yet. I, I literally just got it back in uh, late October. So I'm excited. It is, well, it was really windy at work. It doesn't seem so windy here, thankfully. It was like 30 mile per hour gusts at work. Hopefully the wind got, got it blowing out of its system now. But uh, yeah, should be a good night. I haven't been here since opening day. And uh, before that, and well, I was only, you guys know, if you're subscribed to the channel, which I highly recommend you do, you guys know I was only uh, in the tree stand for like an hour and a half opening day, maybe even an hour of legal hunting time. And uh, I'll link that video up here for you if you haven't already seen it. And before that, um, yeah, I shot my buck down on this property. So if you haven't seen that video, it's a really good video. He's a hell of a nice buck. That'll be right here. And it'll be down in the description down below. Set up here. I'm shocked. 
that we didn't bump anything on the way in. As long as this wind stays going this way, these deer are either bedded down right behind you guys, or they're bedded down across the power line. That's pretty much always where these deer are. Kind of makes on here almost easy, knowing so, uh, so well where these deer are. So it shouldn't be too long. We'll probably have some deer movement. of the wind. I figured there's a deer there. But I went back and I looked at the footage and uh, it sure looks like that was an adult doe, man. It, I just, I wanted to be extra careful. I know it wasn't a button buck. And I don't want to lose out on getting a good amount of meat. I, I, she actually took the same trail that my buck took. Believe it or not. But it is what it is, you know. It's not that big of a deal to, you know, give a, a doe a great a pass. It's not the end of the world. Just the fact that she was alone. It just, I don't, I don't understand why she was alone. There's normally like a group of like four to six doe that I see together. I don't know. Comment below if you have any ideas why an adult doe would be by herself. But I sure as hell don't know. Well, boys, just walking back to the truck now. Kind of shocked that we only see one deer. For sure, with this colder weather, that they'd be up trying to stay warm by moving. And maybe they were. Maybe they just were near me. But I heard two shots walking out, and they were way off in the distance. So it's not like I heard a whole bunch of shooting everywhere. Just, I don't know. Don't know. 
If you guys haven't already and you're new to the channel, please click subscribe down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this short little after work hunt. I know it wasn't super exciting, but it's better than sitting at home not doing nothing. So, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. zone out here. It's like 8.15. That guy across the ridge or across this valley is still over there. Um, I just want to get away from him. God forbid a buck comes in between me and him and he has to shoot my way. I don't want to risk it. So there's some fields uh, back the way I came. I'm just trying to find an area no one else in. It's pointless for me to sit across a valley from someone else when I can clearly see him. I've seen a bunch of scrapes. 
picked up more deer. One might have been a buck, not 100%. Yeah, one of those deer was a buck. I can smell them. Stinky, stinky buck. Hopefully those deer didn't just go around me. They were bedded right down along the water. I had no time to even think about shooting. I was hoping to hear a shot by now. See all those leaves right there, they're all turned up. <clears throat> they went right down this trail. All right, I gotta try to find a way through this thicket. Two? All right, that's the two I saw. There was a buck with him. Really? I could smell it. I, know, I never seen the buck. I could smell the damn buck. They, they might have crossed the road. Maybe. But I think they went up in the next valley because my dad said he seen some going up that valley over there. Was, you know, it worked. Got the deer up. Yeah. yeah. It was like 10 yards away from him. She was hauling. Yeah. I figured after I yelled. Could you hear me yell? No. -uh. I yelled, Justin, I got him coming. <laughs> no, I never. I never heard him. And then I was real close to the lake. They were bedded right up against the lake. Oh, really? Yep. I bet they're the same way in there, man. Yep. Which is ideal because the wind's coming like down this way. Yeah. So then the winds, they're probably watching the lake and the wind's at their back and then no they can smell everything. No goes through there, probably. No. There's no food tracks in there. No. Well, I just had someone shoot behind me. Like in the woods I was in. Sounds like the drive's starting. I hear them hollering over here. Yeah. So, what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm watching the back door. These deer aren't gonna want to go the way that they're driving them. And uh, the one guy said they kicked up six me the stuff I just went through and all they wanted to do was circle around maybe maybe, maybe the deer won't get uh, in between them who knows but organized deer drives gotta love them so believe it or not there's another drive behind me going on they're gonna push out what those guys just pushed out I'm gonna stand up just so they see me a little easier. Now that this has been driven out twice, I don't know what the hell to do. It's just crazy. Driving, driving, driving hard today. So I'm gonna go away from these guys. There's nothing in here. I mean, that big group literally just went through here. They're not gonna kick anything up. So, I don't know what to do. Just go walk around, I guess. Try to find uh, a thicket no one else was in yet. I think that's the best bet. Well, just found a pretty decent spot to sit. There's a deer, there's a deer. It's a damn buck.
was just walking around down there. Man, I wish that thing didn't have horns. That would've been awesome. Well, I had just had the fourth drive come through these woods. It's, it's absolutely nuts here. We thought using the boat, you know, you can get away from people. Looks like everyone's using a boat this year. So the last, the last guys I just talked to, sounds like they're going to drive the bottom. That's been driven out three times already. So in my opinion, more than likely, there's probably not any deer in there, but I guess you never know. Everybody <clears throat> just finally got up in the stand. I ended up forgetting one of my camera parts, so I have this camera strapped to the camera arm here. Strapped to this camera arm here. So that is my redneck ingenuity there. It's tied tight. But a little bit of redneck ingenuity, and uh, I made it work. It's a little sketchy, but I, it's literally tied fast. We're in a, a different stand. I haven't hunted this stand all year. Um, it's pretty good for rifle season, just because it's so open um, and thick, which is, it, well, it doesn't really make sense, does it? I could see, but the deer feel safe walking through here. Next to no pressure in this spot. I've shot deer out of this stand before, just not on camera. So, I also would not be surprised if we see a coyote tonight. Um, there seems to be a lot of reports of coyotes walking around down here, so that would be, uh, that would be great to be able to get some of these things out of here with literally next to no pressure down here on these deer. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of deer stacked up in here because of, you know, no one's, as far as I know, no one's been in here. No, one's, no one else should have been in here. So, tons of deer tracks coming in on that trail. Um, that's the, my cellular over there. And uh, I can actually see that trail from here. It's sending me pictures already. Hopefully it's not the damn grass moving. I have no service. But I'm gonna sit here for the night, see what we see. Hopefully we see some movement. That would be ideal. And uh, yeah, if we get an opportunity at a doe, I'll take it. I can't, if you're new to the channel, I cannot shoot a buck. I've already gotten a buck. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here for you. So go check that out. It's, it's a really nice buck, honestly. It might be my biggest buck ever. I don't know, but I'm not sure.
Bernard's way. So, <coughs> no positive way to clearly identify her, even with the big camera. So, I, I want to say, based off the pictures I had got, it cleared it to me and looked like a young deer. So, it's better off just letting them go. This is eight season. That's, that's why I'm out now. I want more meat. Good morning, guys. Well, if you can't tell, I screwed up. I overslept today. Today is the last day of rifle season. And, uh, yeah, it's 7 o'clock. I wanted to be in the tree stand by, like, 6. But we're here now. We're just going to make the best of it. So, I'm going to spot and stalk essentially my way in um thankfully we have a real thick fog and that might work to our advantage today these deer won't be able to see so far <sighs> at least i'm well rested This fog starting to lift a little bit. <clears throat> I can actually see the bulldozer finally. It looks like, from what I could tell in the spy point pictures, the doe were going to come up uh, the trail I use, and they ended up turning around and going back a different way. Which sucks. That trail would have led them right past me here at like 35 yards. They had some big mamas in there too.
obviously being here at first light would have probably changed all that. But I decided to sleep in. So I am going to get down and then we're going to brush in a ground blind real close to the tree stand, I think. So that way I can bring my kid later tonight. And once we're done there, I'm going to kind of spot and stalk my way uh, out of here. I think I know where those doe from the spy point pictures went and more than likely bedded down um, and was as quiet as the ground is this morning. I might be able to sneak up on them, so we'll have to see. But for right now, I'm just gonna get down and uh, try to quietly put put this ground blind up. Alrighty, boys. I got Mr. Parker with me. Can you say hello? Can you say hello? <laughs> we are going to take Parker out <coughs> for his first deer hunt. Now, he's not shooting. He's just coming with to sit with me and my dad. I know this might ruin the chances of getting a deer today, but this is this is gonna be worth it. Luckily, this place is only about 15 minutes from my house. It is 2.05. We're gonna meet my dad down there, sit in the ground blind I brushed in this morning. Hopefully, Mr. Parker stays a little quiet. Um, I'd be happy if we just get to see something for him. You know, we still have late season archery. We have late season, uh, I'm in Berks County and Chester County is not that far away from me. If you hunt Chester County, you're allowed to use, from the, the way I read the rules, you're allowed to use any muzzle loading uh, gun, 44 caliber or larger. Well, I bought a muzzle loader this year. So, we can go hunt public land down there. So, my options are open. Two deer. I always like giving a lot of meat away to my friends and family. Um, I probably, if I only get two deer this year, that probably won't be too feasible. But. We'll see what happens. The important thing is he's super excited about going doe hunting. It's literally all he talks about. Doe hunting, doe hunting, doe hunting. And uh, what kind of a father would I be if I didn't take my kid out doe hunting? 